welcome back thank you guys so much for joining me today we're going to be making a christmas stocking with my son xavier's name on it um this is me right now just getting everything set up i'm working in design space at this time um i'm gonna go through a couple little steps for you guys to see exactly what i'm doing or how i'm doing it i actually had this already preset before i got you know the phone out to record um so it's not going to show you exactly what font i was using but i got this font off of um the font.com and they have some really nice fonts i just actually learned how to um take a font from over there and import it over to my tablet i'm working on an ipad um this is not an ipad pro this is just an ipad 7 gen um i got this one this earlier this part of this year probably back in april i want to say and i love my ipad it definitely 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 helps a lot when i'm doing um things with my vinyl on design space as well as it also helps me when I'm doing um, my business cards as well. So we'll do a video on, vi on the business cards down the road. I'm using the um, iron-on vinyl here. This is a foil vinyl. And it is by the Paper Studio, I want to say. I got this from Hobby Lobby uh, half off. I only shop for my vinyl really right now with Hobby Lobby. And it's on the half off specials, which is every other week. So that works a lot. This is just me showing you that it comes with instructions on the inside of how to use the iron-on material. It gives you temperatures and everything that you're going to need. Um, so when you're ready to either heat press it or use the iron, that's what you, you know refer back to. I actually have been using just an iron, a regular iron, to do this with. I've had my heat press for quite some time now. I've ordered it back in, I want to say, September. But I just now finally took it out to use it. And it did not, it wasn't the size that I thought it was going to be. I wasn't paying that part any mind. But overall, it definitely worked out really, really well. Um, and you'll see that in just a moment. So right now, I'm just measuring out um, my vinyl. And I'm going to get it set on my mat. This is not a Cricut mat. It's an off-brand mat that I got from Amazon. Um, and it works just as good as my Cricut mat. I actually prefer using my off-brand mats over my Cricut mat. It's just they're they're more flexible. They're not as hot, rock hard feeling as the Cricut mat is, and they're not flimsy either. But I just love these. Um, right now I'm just smoothing it out, getting all the bubbles and stuff out of it. Because sometimes your vinyl, no matter if it's a full vinyl, shimmer vinyl, just a regular removable or permanent, they do come with bubbles. Um, when you try to place it down, it's just like, you know, when you put it on a thing over your cell phone, or over your tablet, like a protector screen, it's pretty much the same exact way you have to squeegee out those bubbles. I normally use um, my little scraper to do it, but this one didn't have it bubbles as bad. So right here, I'm just, you know, getting my machine set up. I, walk, I let you guys see exactly how I did it um, on Design Space. And I also, I was going to do like an ASMR um with this but it was just taking so long for my cricket to cut if you have an air tool, you know sometimes it could take forever forever for something to cut so i just fast forwarded it so it was kind of more like a squeaky sound so i didn't want you guys having to listen to them no little squeaky sounds um but it did cut very well and i was very very pleased with that very pleased with it All right, so here um, I'm just cutting out the excess vinyl. It goes into my scraps. Um, if you are new to doing vinyl and you're watching this video, just know to always save your scraps. Scraps are always going to come in handy, and you definitely will need them at some later time. Um, I, that cutter that I had, the paper cutter that I was using, I got that from Amazon as well. That is a very good paper cutter. Loved it. Um, I got it for probably about... I said it was about $6 when I bought it. It wasn't anything expensive. And I just want you guys to see how freaking nice this stuff peeled. I really didn't have to do much work with my scraper or my um weeding tool. But look at how good that came off. I was so shocked. Look at it. And so now I'm just going in and pulling out the little inside pieces. That came off pretty decently as well. Um, the Cricut definitely cut that pretty good. Sometimes it can be a definite hit and miss 
with the cricket and how it cuts. Sometimes you got to change your pressure. Sometimes you have to change what type of material that you're using just so it can cut regular vinyl or your iron-ons. It just depends on also what type of vinyl that you're using. I don't know. Maybe it is because this is a full vinyl that it pulled off so easily. But I know when I'm using just like a regular plain color sometimes it is very hard for everything to come off um i don't i don't know maybe like i said it was just maybe the full being it full or being it is something else I, who knows that's my husband in the background he's putting um my little machine well he was about to put my heat press on top of the table for me but i needed to clear the table off so he could do that i am not working in a big area so my little area i'm trying to establish around in my I call it my office I get you know a certain amount of space here and there I'll one day give you guys a room tour of my office once it's finally completely set up but here I'm just placing down um the little stencil well excuse me the vinyl piece and I actually have a segment where you're going to actually hear me talking over it I think it's just coming up now Okay, so I lied a little. I thought that was the next segment coming up. I am, again, doing a voiceover, and we're totally not going back to re-record any of this. So we're just going to go with the flow. It is Craftsmas, so I do hope that you guys are watching a lot of crafting videos, getting a lot of ideas. If this is something that you are very much interested in as far as crafting goes, and you want to just establish your own little business or just do it for yourself, having fun with it, it can be an expensive hobby, but you can also do it the most inexpensive way. Like I did, I started going to Dollar Tree, picking up little things. I actually started doing what I call as my table floss. I enjoy doing table floss, which is just um, little table decorations, like flower arrangements and stuff. I enjoy doing it. Um, I would definitely keep doing it. I'm going to do one for my mom soon. And that's a Christmas one coming up. And I'm definitely going to record that. I'll probably get onto that sometime next week. But it is going to be cute. And I'm going to do one for myself as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to record hers or mine. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Even if you don't want to see it, let me know as well what other things you would like to see during Craftsman's. And maybe I will be doing that. I do know I do have some ornaments coming up that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I do hope that you guys enjoy watching that with me as well. And as well, if you are enjoying my content that I'm bringing um, so far, I would love for you guys to stay here with me, become part of the family. Um, you already know the drill. We would love for you to like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff here. We are trying to bring as much great content if I, as we can. We as in me and my little family. And I do hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I enjoy making these videos for you guys. It does take me quite some time. Just a fun fact, this video would have been about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm trying to bring it down under 10. So, I love you guys and thank you so much. I think here's the part that's about to come up with me talking. And I hope you guys enjoy how this turned out as well. Love you all. Thank you again. Okay, everyone, so I did actually go ahead and heat press this on. I am totally sorry that I, you guys didn't get to see this. My grandma had ended up calling me first um, well, while we were recording on the last take, um, and I had to stop. So where you guys last saw was that I was making, I was um, getting everything set for me to get started on pressing this. Um, this is the one from Dollar Tree. I'm sure I've said it by now in her video because I'm going to do a voiceover. <laughs> But, um, excuse me, I have allergies, sorry. But anyways, um, this was heat pressed on for, the temperature was set at 180. I did it for probably about, uh, roughly about a couple of seconds. Um, I would say maybe about 30 seconds. And it worked out phenomenally. I used a Teflon sheet, which is right here. So I used a Teflon sheet um, to cover my fabric and my stencil or my sticker whatever you want to call it my vinyl um and we're gonna go ahead and take this on off all right hold up i'm gonna try to do it with one hand 
Let's do this. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta wait for this stuff to cool off, too. Can't peel it when it's hot for this this type that I have. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And that, my friend, is not coming off. It's not going to buckle. It ain't coming off of that. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I am proud of myself with this one, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's hold it up. turn y'all this way look a deer a and look at how that foil is just set up there oh my god it's turned out so freaking nice way nicer than what i thought it was going to be for my first time using a heat press i am totally psyched about this ah. tongue has been hung out of your mouth at this point yes <laughs> kill him kill him kill him oh my god <laughs> Y'all just don't know how happy I am that this turned out right. I was like, yeah, I'm about to totally waste the whole stock, the whole stocking. Yes, this is awesome. Yeah. If I was your